I think we need to push back on this. There, there's no guarantee to free speech on misinformation or, or hate speech, and especially around our democracy. The show you've been waiting for. If this is your first time tuning into the Miguel Lopez show, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe so we can continue building the algorithm. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Let's talk about it. Who is Tim Walls? You know, like a Walls dance. Anyways, who is this guy? Why do him and Kamala make the perfect match to keep away from American politics, to keep away from our government? But some of you, like I always say, with your blinders, you think they are the perfect couple that will make America the best version it can be. Fool, remember, remember, wake up. Kamala is already part of the current administration that this country has gone down the drain. She cannot tell you, when I become president, I will do this, I will do that, because she is part of the current administration. Where are her policies? Have you heard about talking about her policy? Has she taken any interview from the media? Not even from those that are bought by the Democratic Party. Nothing, but we're not talking about Kamala right now. Let's focus on her running May, Minnesota Governor Tim Walz. Who is Tim Walz? Well, let's see what he did for illegal immigrants. For those people that can come to the country and take your job or hit you in a car accident and I have to pay any penalties with insurance because they have none, but Tim Walls toys an amazing thing to give them license. Have a driving license without proving anything, without showing us any document. If I recall correctly, when I went to get my driving license, I had to bring my birth certificate, my proof that I was here legally, proof of bills that I'm paying, proof of my house, proof that I'm my mom's son, proof that I'm my father's son, proof of everything, even proof that I am a human, basically. But no, Tim will say, you know what? If you're here illegally, come to Minnesota. We got you. We will give you a driver's license and you don't have to do anything. Roll the clip. Hola, well, good morning, everyone. Um, as I've said, and we've had a few of these moments recently to just stop for a moment and be very present in the space where we're at. And this broad coalition of folks that call Minnesota home, this broad coalition who cares deeply for the dignity of each individual who's in this state, a broad coalition of folks who understand that making good policy and treating each individual with dignity. It's pretty, it's so pretty. <laughs> Can you believe this guy? Man, he just gave immigrants, illegal immigrants, a driver's license. No need to prove anything. No need to prove that you're here legally. Go ahead, jump up the border, cross the border. We're not gonna stop you. Like the current administration don't care. They won't stop you. Then come to Minnesota and boom, we get you a license. And some of you, what you don't know is that most of these immigrants coming through the border, through the southern border, they are not Mexican. They, most of them are not Mexican. They are from the Middle East, from China. Yemen, all these countries that want to cause harm to the U.S., they are coming here basically through the open borders. No one is stopping them, and they are building their propaganda or whatever they're trying to do to us here already. But, yeah, let everyone in. Everyone has the right to come to the U.S.A. 
Yep. Doesn't matter if you do it legally or illegally. We're going to support you. No. You come here illegally, we catch you back home. Let's close that border. I'm tired of the southern border. Yes, you're hearing it from someone that came here legally from an immigrant that is no longer an immig legal immigrant, you, but a U.S. citizen. Close the southern border. If you come here illegally, boom, let's send your ass back. Back to where you came from, like some of you guys telling me that I'm going to send back to where I came from. What my U.S. city say? Anyways, this guy, and to top it off, he did not just give license to illegal immigrants. He also put a bill where he gives rights to the LGTB community, which they should have rights, but he's making transgender. He's making the rights that... Your kids got the right to have body alteration without notifying the parents. The parents don't need to know if they want to be trans or whatever. The school and doctors can perform those without notifying the parents. Talk about taking your rights away. And with their mentality and their mind game, they say that the trans community only have two options. It's either the coughing or the closet. Where have I heard that? Nowhere. So they come up with all this anecdotes and everything else and influence you influence you be beat it down to you but yep that's what we're gonna do and look at this guy he signs the building everybody's supporting it and those kids standing next to him look at it look at it roll the clip Today, Governor Tim Wall signed an executive order providing legal protection to those who come to Minnesota for gender affirming health care. John Croman joins us now live from the Capitol with more about what prompted today's action. Hi, John. Hey, Rena, this comes at a time when a lot of other states are passing bills that would restrict gender affirming care or outlaw it for minors. And there's actually a bill here pending at the legislature here at the Capitol that would make Minnesota sort of a trans care refuge state. Uh, but the governor did not want to wait for that to get to his desk. When our children tell us who they are, it is our job as grown-ups to listen and to believe them. It was an event that had all the trappings of a bill signing ceremony, a huge crowd of lawmakers, advocates, and families, in this case, gathered in support of legal protections for people seeking gender-affirming care for what themselves or their children. But the paper well, Governor Walls signed go. was an executive order. His action comes at a time when transgender persons across the nation feel under siege. This is life-threatening. The Iowa Senate passed a bill Tuesday. Those in favor of the motion shall say aye. Barring doctors from providing puberty blockers, hormone therapy, or gender-affirming surgery to anyone under 18. Mississippi passed a similar bill last week, barring gender-affirming care. In New Hampshire, there's a bill that would require schools to tell parents what their kids' gender is. We'll make sure that Minnesota's place as a welcoming, loving, neighborly state where you are welcome and will be free of persecution or anything else that we're trying to see in some other states. In committee hearings, GOP lawmakers have asserted children are too young to make decisions about gender. These are damaging, lifelong procedures. They've also brought up custody disputes. If one parent brings a child here for gender affirming care and the other parent lives in Alaska, do you believe that that would be inconvenient for the parent that lives in Alaska? Many states are asking their people to their queer people to find two spaces that are comfortable, the closet or the coffin. And we are saying we are not going to accept that in Minnesota. In Minnesota, you can Okay, like I said before, you cannot make this uh, but That's not enough. I got more. Can you believe there is still more? This guy is full of surprise. Oh my God. It's an amazing character. He also wants to tremble on your freedom of speech, on your First Amendment right. There is no such thing as freedom of speech protection if you're telling misinformation. So let's say it. If we go by your own narrative, by your own opinion, by your own intellectual capacity of saying that if you promote misinformation or hate speech, you should not be protected from the First Amendment when that's when you should be protected. But let's go by your analysis. Then 
Kamala Harris, you yourself, and everybody else in the Democratic Party should be prosecuted because the most thing you do is provide hateful speech and misinformation. I think we need to push back on this. There, there's no guarantee to free speech on misinformation or, or hate speech, and especially around our democracy. Not only they want to tremble on your First Amendment, your freedom of speech, they also want to tremble on the Second Amendment that protects, gives you the protection for your First Amendment. Yep, the right to bear arms. I hate when they keep comparing the Second Amendment to just hunting and owning a gun. Nope. Second Amendment doesn't only protect you from hunter to be a hunter, and they keep on talking and talking about gun violence and gun this. I will listen to all those people that want to implement more restriction on the Second Amendment. Not really, I will not listen, but I will pay a little bit more close attention to you when you try to implement all those and you don't have secret service. You don't have secret service protecting you. You don't live in a freaking million dollar house. You don't live in the best community. I want you to go and move into the inner cities in Chicago, a red flag state that has one of the toughest gun laws and look at the criminality there. So Tim is a hunter and a gun owner who believes as the majority of gun owners do that we need reasonable gun safety laws in America. We are finally going to pass universal background checks. assault weapons ban. Every time they try to oppress or pull more regulation onto the Second Amendment, they are not protecting you law-abiding citizens. They are protecting those criminals which are not supposed to have arms but still have them. How are they getting it? You think any regulation is going to stop them from getting the arms that they are already getting illegally? Tell me, what regulation? because they're not going to buy at the store and run their background and do all this that they're supposed to do. They don't do that because they are not able to get a gun because they are felon or they have conviction and they're not able to obtain a gun permit. But they still got the guns. So all this regulation is only protecting the criminals, not the law-abiding citizen. Like I say, in a city in Chicago, go ahead. Kamala, Tim Walls, go live in those inner cities. Leave your secret service aside. Go moving into the PJs and now tell me that you want to put more regulations on gun control. You won't do it. If you hate guns so much, if you hate us so much, oh crap, hold up. Didn't you grow up in Canada? Go back to Canada. Easy, they have no guns. Don't have to deal with it. Because here, in the land of the free, because of the brave, we believe in the second amendment. <laughs> Oh, I guess a while up. Yes, Second Amendment, all day, every day. If you agree with me, make sure you put it on there. Put on the comment, two-way up. That's how we do it, two-way up, man. That's the new gang, the Second Amendment gang, the Pew Pew gang. You know what I mean? Protect your individual rights and start giving your rights to these radicals. You don't believe that they are radical? Look at this clip. Don't ever shy away from our progressive values. One person's socialism is another person's neighborliness. Just do the damn work. Ooh. A form of socialism? He just uh, know the neighbor, whatever the heck he said. Man, talk about socialism. Like I say, socialism leads to communism, and both of these guys are Marxism. And if you don't know about that, go ask the Cubans, ask the Venezuelans, how they dealing with socialism right now. Think about all that before you open your mouth and decide to condemn someone who's really trying to make America great again, do the best for us, not these people, not these radical people that left the borders open, giving rights to illegal immigrants, want to dismantle the organization that hunts down illegal immigrants, to say it in a radical way like they are. You know what? I don't got time for this. Just make sure you go vote on November 5th. And remember, Republicans all the way because the Democrats, they have been lying to you for years and years and years. And they still lying to you and you still believe in the same lies.
Just like those lies that they tell you in the breakfast club. I was about to say something else, but you know what? I'll see you in the next one.